All right, today we're gonna to talk about kickflips. Uh, I've always wanted to have just like a good, solid kickflip, good technique, be able to control it. But uh, yeah, it hasn't worked out like that. So I've been skating for like, I don't know, 20 years, something like that. And let's see, like maybe 12 to 15 years ago, somewhere in that range, I tore my ACL and PCL in my left knee, which is my flicking leg. And uh, yeah, so I got the surgery came back to skating and was determined to learn how to kickflip. Just kept doing them over and over, started relearning everything. Then someone crashed into me right after that, a couple of months later, and tore my MCL on the same knee. And that kind of like stopped me from just trying kickflips all the time, basically. Like took the steam, the wind out of my sails. And after that, you know, I'm just, I could always kickflip, but they never looked good. You know, I could do them into tricks and stuff like that, but you know, it really helps to have the good technique to be able to control it. You know, like if you want to do kickflip crooks or kickflip disasters on mini ramp, things like that, when you have that control, it really helps a lot. Yeah, recently I had knee surgery on the same knee again. It's a two torn meniscus. So after that one, I'm just like determined. I'm going to learn to kickflip. And you know, it's an ongoing process. It's not like today, I'm gonna have perfect kickflips. But yeah, so I'm just gonna work on a bunch of different techniques, try them on the hip, you know, maybe off a kicker, things like that, just to, you know, just get good at all the different aspects of the kickflip. All right, first we're gonna warm up with some flat ground kickflips. Let's see how long these laces last. I mean, these aren't terrible. You should have seen them like two weeks ago or something like that when I was trying them. It's like constantly rocketing, not letting the tail hit the ground, stuff like that. So definitely getting much better, but still not nowhere near where I want to be. So the goal with these is to be able to dip it forward and catch it with my back foot and also be able to do it like over pyramids and off of things because whenever there's like any incline involved, like a hip or something like that, the pop just disappears and it rockets. So yeah, I guess next I'm just gonna do a bunch of them on the bank ramp and see if I can do that. That's the same problem I always have. It's that the tail just doesn't hit whenever I'm on a bank. It has to be that I'm leaning too far forward, but I don't know, just can't figure it out. That one actually felt pretty decent. Uh, yeah, it's definitely a leaning back thing, but something I'm noticing is when I lean back and like focus on the tail being popped, for some reason, like my foot gets caught or it doesn't flip as fast. So that's why I'm like always trying to like lean forward and like get the flip going because it just doesn't feel like it's uh, gonna happen when I lean back, but gotta break that habit. All right, time to try some full speed kick flips. Wish me luck.
That is frightening. I have no control over my kickflip, so I just feel like I'm gonna die every try. I'm done with those before I eat it. Um, you know, the faster I'm going, I'm popping them a little lower, but I'm landing a few, so I haven't uh, fell on my face yet, so that's good. Uh, I'm probably gonna like start a little slower and then get good at them popping and then work my way up to that speed. But next, the dreaded hip. That thing always rockets my kickflip, so let me see if, uh, see if I can get a clean one. I don't know if you guys saw in that last one, but it like basically forward flip. That's cause for the past couple of weeks, I wish I was recording cause I just like wasn't popping my tail. It's crazy. So I did a bunch of ollies, started getting those down. Now I'm actually getting a decent pop, but like to level the board out, I really have to try to flick out almost down a little bit, but I don't know what it is. It's like, if I don't do that, it rockets. And if I do do it, sometimes it doesn't flip or it like almost sucks up too high. I don't know. <laughs> All right, a little bit of progress. That one wasn't that bad. I mean, definitely wasn't good, but it popped and I kind of was level, I think. Let's get a better one though. That one felt much better than all the others. Actually, I'm happy with today's progress. Uh, key takeaways for the kickflip. Okay, so make sure you flick late. Ollie first and then flick. And I thought I was doing that for a while, but I really wasn't, so definitely pay attention to that. Uh, for the hip, I had to think about it almost like a frontside flip. Like put my foot on the tail. It's a little more in the pocket. And yeah, I was just really thinking about it like a front side flip because when I try to stay straight, I think the angle of the hip was naturally turning me backside. So I don't know if that helped you guys, but that helped me. And what else? Oh, bring a bunch of extra laces because I retied my laces like six, seven times and they're basically done in one day. So bring extras. Last thing was about two weeks ago, I got a shorter wheelbase board and that 100% helped out my flick. It became easier to level out. Um, I think it's cause the shorter wheelbase, like I don't have really long legs. So I'm riding 8.5 board. So those are naturally pretty long. And my legs, I guess just weren't like flicking as far out as they needed to. So shorter wheelbase board for me definitely helped with that. Yeah, that's it for today. Um, leave a comment if you guys have any tips for me with the kickflip because I could definitely use them. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one.